Hello all you boys and girls, it's Michael here from Miniature Painting and MTG and more. Today we are going to be painting a Dungorstadt tile. Easier than this tile it can't be, possibly. The tile is pretty detailed, so there is a lot of dry brushing to do. And it's really easy to be done if you have the correct brushes. We are going to use cold grey and stonewall grey. That's it. Really? Two paints? Yes. So first off we are going to paint in some tiles to give it a little more depth or definition with cold grey. These will dry up a little bit darker as you can see and try to do it all over the place. You can even do the outside but since those stones can be a different one and is not part of the room, I didn't do it. You can do this as sloppy as you want. Then you're going to dry brush with stonewall grey, uh, my apologies, with cold grey for a nice coat of paint. I am using a scenery brush for this, dry brush, round one, which you can might as well. Just take any big brush, which you can find in the shed. So do the walls, do the tiles, do the floor, do it left and right. If you're done, you're done. After that, it's time for the stonewall grey. This is a very bright color, so be gentle with it and test it out first before you go totally wild the top. As you can see right here, the cold grey uh, filled in stones or painted stones really give a nice definition to the total picture of the tile. And this is almost real time. This means that it's that easy and that fast to paint the Dunkelstadt tiles. There you go. Looking good, eh? A bit more next to the corners. And then you can dress it up with a pile of sand or something else you just found in the shed. You can put some tufts on them. You can put some 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 grass in the uh, in the sides of the styles. Then again, this is it. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you soon. May the dice be forever in your.